My name is Rapsi, welcome back to Atomic Crops. Ooh, we have spent far too long playing the game yesterday. Oops. That's not going to make this episode shorter at all, though. I would never do you dirty like that. All right. I want to get the full harvest, put down all the rest of these. Should also probably start focusing on expanding the area as well. So I don't know what like adjacency the crops have to be in order to get the benefit from the turret growth aura. Like how large is the aura? Is it one space around? Is it a couple spaces around? I don't know. It's unfortunately very important because it decides how I should place them. A lot of fertilizer for all these plants at the very least. Maybe we go back to exploring next as soon as we have Rue completely wooed. So the peas are going to take a ridiculously long period of time, so... I'm pretty happy to get all of them down and then just walk away. I do like being able to water two things at the same time, especially considering I haven't got a cow going on. I don't have a cow, man, at the moment. Right. Although I do want to go out fighting because I have the Whack Attractor and I have the ability for the Whack Attractor. The Whack Attractor being the one that fertilizes enemies or kills enemies and turns them into fertilizer. And then I have the ability to regain tractor charges by picking up fertilizer. I want to see exactly how efficient that's going to be because if I can just constantly pop it down, ooh, it's going to be degenerate. Oh, hell yes. This might be another situation of I don't really need to do any more farming in today. At least we can hope. And I'm pretty much ready to bounce here. Let's go south. Okay, so we made mints out of all of them, and it did nothing to rejuvenate the tractor. I suspect that the tractor can't decrease its cooldown while it's in use. So for that reason, I'm going to have to leave all of the fertilizer waiting and then pick it up at the end and see if that actually fixes the problem. Otherwise, I may have just, like, wasted a lot of money and a couple of roses. Hopefully that's not the case, but if it is, well... We spent them on learning that that's not something we want to do in the future. Okay. Almost got me. A couple times over, in fact. Jeez. These enemies mean serious business. We have the Cheshire Cat continually following us right now as well. At the very least, we did have the organic armor as well, so we didn't have to worry about that extra hit we took. Ooh, thorns seem like a good idea, but I don't have a... Th ah! Just because I already have a thorn, like getting enough thorns would be a really good idea. Maybe I need to hoard the roses until I'm in a position where I can get something degenerate rather than spend them on... Ooh, this is a little bonus here that might help me. 
Maybe I need to treat them as more valuable than I currently am. Um, again, I don't like that weapon reset. Whoa. Yikes. I don't want to spend any money on that because then I have to buy a weapon tomorrow as well, definitely for the fight uh, against the boss, right? So I think we just go back and use garbage weapons today. Right. Nose down and excellent. Bounce south. Ah, uh, yeah. So it does look like if you try and get someone in a camp and then run away, they'll follow you until the ends of the earth. All right. Come on. Pretty large amount of enemies. Now let that tractor disappear. Good. Okay, that was so minimal. The amount of uh, the amount of cooldown that we got from the fertilizer there. That's not. I don't think that's worthwhile. I do like the strategy of going for all of these bees, just so that I don't have to spend any time on the farm. Sweet. Right, where's the forageables down here as well? Probably on the entire other side of the map, right? So it's not like we run out of areas to explore. It's just, it's easier to get the rewards from the earlier areas. But I suspect that the later areas might have content that I haven't yet engaged, so. I think maybe for the next run, I will focus almost exclusively on exploring. I also do need to be more careful about what days I buy weapons on because I don't need a weapon every single day. And especially if I'm not going to be spending that much time on the farm, I'm not going to have the ability to get a weapon every single day. That's some good loot right there. <gasps> Flamingo! Yes! Give me the roses! That's my first actual hit. I've taken three hits today, and that's the first one that damaged me. <laughs> it's perfect. No! Stop it! It's not okay. All the way back up here, and boom. Get him. Are you kidding me? That didn't kill you. So rude. Hold an extra tractor again. I really would like if I didn't get that as a benefit because I'm never going to utilize it enough. I wonder if I get two tractors of the same type, do they share a cooldown? Because if they don't, maybe we can still get something done with this whole fertilizer build. Uh, it's a whack attractor. Which is to say it's a weird uh, tractor. Excuse me. Strange approach to it. All right, we're out. Let's get the weapons upgrade. Settling, right? I'm pretty sure we're basically done with this area. Yeah. All right. Fix bridge three. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go complete south past that point. One. 
two. I can't buy another upgrade, otherwise I can't get the two bridge building materials I'm gonna need right now. Once again, into the fray. Let's just get these roses planted. Especially because, like, after they're watered for the first time, those roses will just finish by themselves. Yep, I'm pretty happy to peace. And just go hard south. <laughs> now, this area is obviously going to have significantly more difficult enemies. Oh well. Hopefully I'm up to the task. Whoa, okay. That's, uh... That's certainly an attack pattern. Good giddy gosh. Ow. You stop hitting me. All right, so there's a blood rain available. Like a rain cloud, I guess. Right, let's find a high population density area. Good. Uh, that's not the one I was trying to put down. Oh my god, the bullet hell is real. Stop. <laughs> oh, this is so much. Bubble shield or patch fertilizer. Plant crops are the same something whatever. I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Good lord. All right. What do I want to take from that run and what do I want to leave in that run? I think what I want to leave is I don't focus on anything except for getting my first marriage as quickly as possible um and anything that gets me to that so i explore so that i can get married i farm exclusively roses so i can get married as quickly as possible run down that line have someone helping me and then see if that's enough to actually bolster me for a while All right. let's try that again then Oh, I don't even have the ability to get another cornucopia. Rough stuff. So explore the left hand side first. There's there's no difference, but Is there a difference? Is this side more difficult? Because it seems like it should be. Alright, this is gonna be where our golden chest turns up. All right. We didn't even have problems watering our crops last time after maybe like... Oh, what? Ouch. Uh, after like the second day. So... I think cows are probably just not correct. Told you. That's exactly where the golden chest is. Ah, stop it! You can't kill me this quickly! Water and crops creates a bubble shield. No, farm animals for just laxatives. Alright, whatever. That'll have to do. Alright. Please give me organic armor. It is probably the best of these upgrades while I'm as, you know, new to the game as I currently am. It seems like it's the best upgrade for me. 
Don't you dare give me the ability to hold a second tractor. Hey, we got the organic armor. Beautiful. I don't think we're going to get the full exploration of this side before the next day begins, unfortunately. Just because we had to go directly back upwards. Too much backtracking. Rain cloud. Again, I think that's probably another thing that I'm going to work into my best practices is taking rain clouds basically whenever available. Sweet. Never mind, we may full explore this side by the time. So I know there's an area over here that only takes two bridge materials to get into, but I don't care to, like, I don't really care to explore that area if I can go to an area that's way more difficult. Because you have to assume that the more difficult area is going to have better rewards. Although I guess that doesn't really prove true in this game so far. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's a flaw in my previous planning. We're out of here. Uh, off this one. Especially off of this one because it's very likely to give us a rose. And in fact, did as well as a heart. Here, get the roses down. Perfect. Let's pop the first turret down as well here. Uh, I'm going to put it in the center just so that if I do get the turret growth aura, it's already ready to use. It was a pretty good day. Take an assault rifle. So take an assault rifle. No. No, I just start by clearing the left hand side. Sorry, right hand side. Save my money for weapons tomorrow. I would love to be able to take the extra stats up. Dang it. Right, they've got three expansion to the field at the moment as well. Beautiful. all of these so that I can get one of the double size. And now I can run. Just wanted to get that down as quickly as possible. It's not time to use a rain cloud yet. If I can get another anemone, then beautiful. That'll be it. Demon Creek, found it. Oosh. If I can also get an earthquake. All right, so what's that? That's the uh, fertilizers from the enemies, right? This is another weed whacker. I'm going to be really saddened by it. Ah, it's another weed whacker. Dang it. I don't need those. Oh my god, two extra roses from camps that aren't usually rose camps. Extremely helpful. 
I think like one of the most impactful early upgrades that you can get is the one that allows your seeds to spread to topsoil. Because you can just cheat out a bunch of roses with it. Well, I say cheat out. You don't really actually have an impact over it. You just hope that it hits your roses. Now, should I go with bees like I was going last time? Well, it doesn't matter if I go bees here because that's not a bee. It's a chicken. <laughs> it's never a realistic option. I, I'll liberate this camp and then I'll go back. Tilling soil has a chance to drop fertilizer and a seed. Eh, whatever. Hopefully the turret's been doing enough. Beautiful. Has. Uh, I don't want to put down the tree yet. Just because it's going to take up a lot of space that I would want to have hit something that's going to... Or rather, uh, have that space still available for the anemone cree. Stopping me from planting these roses! The single most important things I can do. Right. Ah, no, no, no! Stop, 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 stop! It might start getting to the point that I need to look at, you know, the individual crops and exactly how much they give us back to see whether or not it's ever worth planting a potato, that kind of thing. Because clearly you haven't got the time to plant all of the crops all of the time. So if you have to prioritize, you're gonna have to try and choose the right value. That was 42 for a four space as well as two. This is a four space and then two and then a one. But they could be equally valuable, right? That could have just been three. And then both of these sum total to 42. I don't have enough information to actually act differently. Again, the relationship bonuses are just complete garbage right now. All right. I'm going to jackrabbit, upgrade and try and take out the rest of the season before we end the episode. Still do slightly need something for watering, but that does take care of itself pretty soon. Although maybe last time the watering was taken care of by, uh, by Borage because he was just hanging around farming constantly. That's possibly a good point. put down the cabbage and then run away. Peace. So we go... Wait, hang on. Do we even have anywhere to finish exploring at the moment? 
Yeah, we haven't gotten the golden from this area, I don't think yet. Okay. Golden? Hello? Gold? Thank you for the HP. Sorely, sorely needed at the moment. It's another reason to prioritize early exploration. While you haven't taken damage, you can pick up all of the extra HP to get you extra HP slots. Okay, sweet. Turret, map, and then I'm going to see if I can get this kill in time. Oh god, it really doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's a no on that. <laughs> Damn it. Stop hitting me! Oh, I just want to get the rose down. You're getting in the way of my love with Rue. It's not currently our love because we're barely acquaintances at the moment. No! No! Don't make me die in the first season again! I've done that enough times to feel pretty embarrassed. Now I can't even leave this area if I wanted to, so... May as well just try and get my roses done. Probably want to ideally put my next turret where this corn is currently growing. Just in case it is like the nine grid around a turret that gets benefited from the growth aura. So that's the right position. Right. Yeah, this isn't going to be a good season for us overall, I don't think. <sighs> Fingers crossed. That's going to be complete garbage. Oh, extra move speed is a really good offer right there. Probably going to take you up on it. Man. Yeah. That's. That's really unfortunate. Getting the extra rows in particular. I'm actually starting to value more and more. So you're just straight up selling stats right now for three. No. I made it very clear to myself, I am going to get married as quick as possible. Yeah, I'm not going to go for the extra HP there, though. Well, going to have to continue our quest for love in the next episode for the moment. My name is Rhapsody, the name of the game. It's me, Natomacrop. So, hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves. Just play some scripts down below with all my contents of the game, past, and the future, and hopefully, we'll see you next time. <laughs>